Shairi Noshkar and I live in Kolkata since my birth which is for almost 21 years. Now I just want to tell you that the first and foremost place you must visit when you come to Kolkata is none other than the Victoria Memorial. Now as you can see we are just outside the gate of the Victoria Memorial. Now it is one of the most iconic monumental building which was built during the British Empire. And it's also a heritage of Kolkata which shows the colonial history of this city. here by metro or by bus for metro you have to get down at the Medan metro station from which you have to walk your way from there till here also you can get down at Ravindra Southern metro station from which you have to again walk a little bit you can also get direct buses from Howrah and Chialda station which will just drop you at Billa Planetorium and you have to walk again a little bit from there till here the nearest airport to Victoria is the Netaji Shubhash Chandra Bosch International Airport. This huge and wonderful structure was built between the year 1906 and 1921. It was actually dedicated to the memory of Queen Victoria. This whole structure actually lies at the grounds of Maidan. Now come, let's see the ticket price. As you can see, the Victoria Memorial is surrounded with such large and magnificent gardens which covers almost a vast area of 64 acres. Besides, it also has large lakes like this by which you can just sit around with your friends and family and spend some good time here. And it's also a perfect spot for a picnic in the winter holidays. Another thing for which the Victoria Memorial Grounds is famous for is the light and sound shows which helps here whose name is Pride and Glory, the story of Calcutta. It's actually an amazing way to acquaint yourself with this city's history. Its another name is Sonnet Lumiere. The show is generally held from October to February and again from March to June, generally in the evening time from 6 to 8.30 p.m. It remains closed in the monsoons. The wonderful and striking play of colourful lights with sounds and narrations in the background will just amaze you as an audience. Another important event that took place in the Victoria grounds is the magic show of the great Indian magician PC Sarkar. Also, if you're lucky enough, you can just experience a carrier ride just outside the gate of the Victoria Memorial. Along with the gardens, bridges were also built such as the Asia's Bridge between the narrative panels by Goscombe John, on which a bronze statue of Queen Victoria, which is also called the Jubilee Monument of Victoria, is found where Victoria is seen seated on a throne wearing the robes of the Star of India. This statue was built by George Frampton. Just approaching from the southern gate, you will come across King Edward VII Memorial Arc. You can see there is a statue of King Edward VII made up of bronze upon it, which was built by Bertram McCannell. Now, as you reach the Victoria Memorial Hall, you will see the statue of Lord Curzon at the front, just outside the entrance of the central hall. The memorial is built of white makrana marble. 
which exhibits a blend of Indo-Saracenic and revival styles of architecture, which slightly resembles that of Taj Mahal with its dome, four subsidiaries, octagonal domed churches, high portals, terrace, and domed corner towers. And it is of 184 feet in height. You will find the figure of the Angel of Victory made up of bronze crowns the central dome at the top. Its height is 4.8 meters. So now we are entering the Victoria Memorial Hall. It basically contains museum, galleries and statues. The Victoria Memorial has 25 galleries in total. These include mainly the Royal Gallery, the National Leaders Gallery, the Portrait Gallery, Central Hall, the Sculpture Gallery, the Arms and Armoury Gallery and the New York Calcutta Gallery. You will also find the statue of Lord Clive made up of marble just outside the Calcutta Gallery. As you enter this gallery, you will find exhibition of mainly oil paintings. The galleries have the largest single collection of the works of Thomas Daniel and his nephew William Daniel. It also has a collection of rare and antiquarian books such as illustrated works of William Shakespeare, The Arabian Nights and The Rubaiyat by Omar Khayyam. the central hall of the memorial, you can see the statue of Queen Victoria at the center. The ceiling of the central hall is actually the interior of the central dome, which is beautifully constructed with small windows, pillars and several murals. Let's go inside the Royal Gallery, which is one of the most principal gallery of Victoria Memorial. This gallery mainly displays a number of portraits of Victoria and Prince Albert and paintings illustrating their lives by Janssen and Winterhalter. The oil paintings are basically copies of those in London. Victoria's childhood rosewood pianoforte and her correspondence desk from Windsor Castle stand in the central of the room. Now let's go inside the Calcutta Gallery. It basically displays the history and development of Calcutta from Job Chanak of the English East India Company to 1911 when the capital of India was transferred to New Delhi. This gallery also has a life-size diorama of Cheekpur Road in the late 1800s, as you can see. Adjacent to this, you can also visit Bila Tanatorium, St. Cathedral's Church, Rabindra Sadan, Maidan, and the Mohur Kunja Park, where you can spend a very good time in the evening with your friends and your family.